hello guys and welcome to my channel uh, today i'm going to show you how you can control your uh, canon camera with python script wirelessly and uh, how you can make use of its uh, cc api uh, capability and how you can use it for your own benefit you can click photo with a python script you can uh, shoot a video or you can download the files on the pc and uh, uh, so on and so forth all the libraries that i'm going to use are open source and can be downloaded in the description below um <clears throat> this took me a while to figure out but uh, here's how you're gonna do it okay so first thing you're gonna want to do is activate cc api in your camera and to do that is very easy some models might support it and some might not so you might want to check with that mm. okay canon developer community and then go to this link here login or register registration is free i already have it registers so I'm just gonna log in and then you're gonna want to go to SDK API downloads mine is EOS and PowerShot cameras and then go to CC API activation tool mine is Mac um, I have also tried it on Windows and it runs pretty well no issue there so I'm just gonna download it it's gonna block the pop-up because i have that setting so I just unblock the pop-up and download it and then i go to this folder and then unzip it run this program cc api activation tool open and at this point what you want to do is you want to connect your canon camera uh, with a usb to your pc to activate the cc api activation tool i'm going like this is needed you need a usb cable to uh, in in the activation step but after that you won't need it in the wi-fi controlling uh, step so i already have it activated so i'm not gonna do that but after you have uh, connected your camera with the usb uh, you should make sure that there is no eos utility running as well if it is running this activation will give you error so just uh, close close the program if it is running and then click execute activation right now i don't have camera connected to my laptop so i won't be doing that so that's how you uh, activate your CC API tool. So here is how we're gonna make sure that uh, the CC API is activated in your camera. Go to Wi-Fi wireless settings, click OK. Go to Wi-Fi settings, enable. And then in this list, if you see camera control API, then it is activated if not then you might have to do the whole process again go to camera control api add connection and add with wizard here i'm gonna use camera access point mode click on it and then now this is the wi-fi name and password So you go to Wi-Fi and other networks, then 457 and then enter the password that's given on your camera screen. And join the network. And now 
once you join that network there's going to be a url link uh, which you have to enter in your web browser so mine is 192.168.1.2 which i'm going to use over here CCAPI and if you enter it here's what uh, you're gonna see on your screen and once you enter that in the browser your camera will look something like this so it means that it is now connected your so there is the connection between your PC and camera is set up so once you have the camera set up um, um, once you have the connection between camera and PC set up, uh, now you should be able to connect to that Wi-Fi automatically uh, without any issues. So you can switch between your internet and the camera uh, Wi-Fi. I'm gonna switch to internet for now because I want to clone a repository from GitHub. Go to GitHub. Search Canomate. Once you have your Canomate master repository all downloaded, um, go to your terminal and then I'm gonna start my Anaconda. Okay, Anaconda. I have an environment to set up. Um, which is called Canon Capture. It's uh, it, it's it's not compulsory, but I like to use uh, environments for my different projects. And right now, I don't have a lot uh, in Canon Capture except NumPy, SciPy, and some basic Python libraries. So I'm just gonna Canon Capture real quick. Capture. Capture. I activated it and then I'm gonna go to desktop, Canon Master, oh, Canon Master, and then I'm gonna run my um, Canomate.py script. So here you can see all the options, the, all the parameters that you can use um, with uh, Canomate.py. Uh, this is uh, for you to use if you want to run, uh, if you want to control your camera from the command line itself. Uh, but what I'm going to show you actually is not this. It's, um, it's how you can use this Canomate.py to um kind of f from your python script <clears throat> so what i did for this is that um i have another project which includes all the um all the scripts uh from canomate master so you can just copy paste all these things in a separate folder like i did or you can make it in the, or you can develop it in this folder itself Start Jupiter Nova. Okay, so in my Jupiter notebook, um
It is it is. Okay, um, go to Canon Capture Project where there is all the files from Canomate Project and then I made this Jupyter uh, notebook uh, just so we can um, use the automation script. So my automation scripts are nothing but text scripts that Canomate uses to control your camera. So in this test script, let me just show you. Um, my first command is print camera info, uh, print camera date time, print shooting settings, print shooting models, and uh, all the other commands. And uh, here I have print still image quality, um, which um, which is gonna uh, print all the image quality options that Canomade offers. Um, assert camera settings where I have kept it in manual mode uh, all, about all these operations and parameters you can learn it uh, from the github repo they have linked it over here so you can use all these operations and parameters and you can control your camera uh, using these commands and making your own automation scripts uh, in my simple automation script you can maybe try and pause it for a while or you can use the one that I showed you here um, they have given it they have really given like a, they have given all the examples really nicely so it's gonna take one simple photo setting the aperture shutter speed and the ISO so that is the same script that I have used in test one uh, script okay over here yeah so this is the same script that they have given over here what my Jupyter notebook does is let's just start understanding it from here uh, first uh, I'm initiating the script with two tests uh, one is say true false the first test just clicks a simple uh, photo so I'm passing my camera IP address which is same as the one you kept it in a browser and the second one is automation script file and then take test photo I have defined this function over here so what it's gonna do is uh, it's just going to uh, um, give this command in the terminal basically so python canomate.py and then I'm giving IP address uh, which is pass through cam IP which is 192.168.1.2 and then op file is like is is a short form for operations file um op file is test1.txt and then this is gonna click one picture so let me just go ahead and try and run it Oh, it failed. Session over. So, right, um, I'm going to add some delays here. That's probably the case with these automation scripts um, so communicating between these cameras uh, the camera and the computer takes time so adding some amount of delay to kind of process is a nice thing to do you know it's 
kindness towards your camera. Delay time. Oh, it's delay time and not delay. So we will connect the camera Oh, we are not connected. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright. We will connect her again. Now. Okay, now I get that. <laughs> okay, so now I should run the script. I mean. No, we are giving so much delay. <laughs> uh, we should probably just. It's okay, I'll just let it run, it's fine gonna wait for five seconds delays oh did you hear that my camera just clicked the photo so we just remove those delays test it again and it's gonna do it very fast um, with the picture now if you want to set the exposure to um, oh no exposure to 1 by 100 you can change that and then you can click a photo again this should work perfectly and then So that's about it. Um, in the second test, what I'm doing is I'm using uh, three different shutter speeds in the same script. So uh, running one script will click three photos with three shutter speeds. If you're interested, I could make another video for that one. Uh, let me know what you think about this video in the comments and if it helped you in your project. Um, Alright, hope to see you soon. Good luck. Bye.